CSK's batting order hasn't looked very settled to the tournament. Uh, they did quite a few changes. What are the talks uh, about it in the team meetings? Yeah, we're searching. We're, 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 we're aware we're getting... We're getting we don't get a good start at the top with, our, with the two overseas players and we're, um, we're we're falling into a hole. So we're, we're looking for positive solutions. Uh, but again, today, the, the wickets fall right on the, the line where we discuss whether it's going to be a, a, a Dhoni or a, a, a Sam Curran. So you sort of have lines in the Sam where you, where you move into the next phase and, and we're, just, we're losing wickets right on the edge of those. So it, it makes it look quite conservative, but the talk is very positive. It's just, um, it's, it's not what's happening in action. What I'd like is a little bit more intensity through the middle overs. We've got plenty of batting and uh, while we're recovering pretty well, we're just ending up with too much to do at the back. So trying to release the shackles, whoever it is, and um, we've obviously made a change today. And uh, and just allow the, the hitters towards the end a, a little bit more a, bit, a little bit more freedom. But the other the other point is we, we've chased every game and the wickets are getting slower. Um, we've seen a number of games, even the one at Abu Dhabi at it's not easy. Once you lose wickets, you tend to get on a on a bit of a roll, and it's hard to get to get started. So, there is an aspect of that we have to consider. But I'd I'd love to see more intent, and even in our decision making, maybe we just got to uh, we just got to throw it in a little bit earlier. So that's um, that will certainly be up for discussion as we get pretty close to, to the situation we find ourselves in. And the next one is Raidu and Jagadeesan got some runs today. Um, Shane Watson and Faf also have been in the runs over the, the last couple of days. However, things are sort of not fitting into place. You've answered some of that. Yeah. But how big of a concern is this? Well, it's, it's one of the uh, concerns we have. We have several. Um, and we're working through them. When it, when it works, um, when you play well, usually you're one of your top three or four will get a substantial score for our Coley today. If you look at most teams that win, the, the top three or four will have a a major run scorer. Unfortunately, we're just having games where that's just not working for us and it's exposing a, a middle order that's lacking a, a little bit of, um, well, a little bit of confidence and, and with the guys who play a little bit of experience. So we're searching also from a decision-making point of view, but um, as I say, through them, we're just going to play with more intent and use the resource that we've got. It's not that you can just keep swinging. Um, there's some challenging bowling, but um, intent is what we're after. Your next one is as a coach of this, this side, is this the most difficult challenge that, you, that, that you've been in uh, from a CSK perspective? And how, how far or near is the playoff dream at this point? Well, it's getting further away if we keep playing like this. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's a very good challenge. And uh, without doubt, we've had a good run. But if you look at uh, a couple of the factors, one is uh, an aging team, so bought for years one and two. Uh, the leagues are getting a bit more tired, so we're working hard on that. And also the conditions. Um, when we put this team together at the last auction, it was a view to winning five or six games at, at Chipok. And um, spinners at this stage are, are playing a small role, but they're certainly not playing the substantial role that we are used to in over, what is it, 13, 12 years. Uh, that's been a key part. So as I said early on, in the first three games, we were really looking for a way to, to compete. Um, and change the style of play, and that that can be quite difficult to do, given we've been so um, so consistent in our selections and so deliberate with the players we've picked in the past. So um, we're certainly scrapping, trying to find a way, but it is it's a bit foreign, and our results are um, are showing that. And lastly, Deepak Chahar was good again for you. What works for him in T20s as he seems to pick up wickets and keeps the, run check, the runs in check as well? Well, being uncomfortable was one thing. Uh, last game wasn't so good. So um, what we work on is his consistency of preparation. Um, he's a very skillful player. Um, and mentally, we're making sure that every day is uh, is better than the last. So today was a great response to a below-par performance in the last game. And, uh, and he responded beautifully. So his challenge is, again, is to back that up. And that's the difference between someone who's got all the skills and is inconsistent or a world-class player. So he's right on the edge of, um, of that type of sentence. Stephen, thank you so much for this and all the best for the upcoming day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man.